Chris and our meteorologists are busy looking beyond the clouds and to the stars. Last month we enjoyed a lunar eclipse. And this weekend we're getting a different type of planetary lineup. Chief Meteorologist Mark Stitz shows you the planetary parade. All the planets that orbit the sun kind of orbit at different speeds. So sometimes from the view of Earth, they're on the opposite side of the sun and we can't see them. But the speed and the alignment has happened just right that all the five planets we can see from Earth without a telescope or with our naked eye are visible at the same time. This does not happen very often. In fact, the last time we could see all five naked eye planets has back in 2004. So it's been a while. And what's unique about this one too, here from from Earth as we look up, the planets will actually be arranged in just the right order as if from left to right as they would be from their distance from the sun. Now, if the ground view here, this is what things will look like. Mercury is going to be just above the horizon and this has been happening for a couple weeks now, but Mercury is getting a little bit higher in the sky and a little bit brighter, so easier to see. Then Venus and then the moon, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. That's how things will be laid out across the sky. Of course, without the telescope, they won't look this nice. They'll just look like bright stars in the sky. Now the best time to go out is about 30 to 45 minutes before sunrise and you want to look to the southeast. Might be easiest to find the moon first, especially Friday morning and into the weekend. And then you'll find two planets to the left and the rest of the planets off to the right. Now what's also unique about this setup this month is the fact that they are so closely packed together. The last time they've been this close together back in 1921. Now, if clouds get in your way over the next couple of mornings or maybe you don't have time to get out there, don't worry. All this will be happening for the next couple of weeks.